everyone. Um, so I have a few opinions on what has been going on with this whole Abercrombie and Fitch issue, as do a lot of people. Um, if you're not up to date on what's been going on, basically the CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch made a few comments about how they don't carry large sizes in their store because the way that he sees it, fat and unattractive people will never be cool. And he only wants attractive people to be wearing his clothes. So, Mike Jeffries, who is the CEO, clearly does not care about what people think or how they feel. Obviously, that's something that we should not take lightly. But the way I see it is that nobody is saying anything that's worth hearing. Nobody is saying anything that isn't exactly what Mike Jeffries himself was saying. Um, I've seen a lot of things online about this whole issue. There's a photo of Mike Jeffries in an Abercrombie shirt on Pinterest, and it says... Um, if the CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch only wants attractive people wearing his clothes, then he's going to have to go ahead and take that sweater off. Um, I saw a video online of a girl basically saying that she had been in an Abercrombie and Fitch store a few days earlier and that everyone in that store was only average and below average and some of them were so ugly that she wanted to gag, so, you know, ha, on Mike Jeffries. And... I understand that people are upset that he's insulting who he believes to be fat and unattractive people, but how are we responding to that? We're sitting here and we're telling him how ugly and disgusting he is. We want him to know just how outraged we are that he would have the audacity to judge people on people's appearance, so then we turn around and we judge him on his appearance instead of just focusing on his disgusting and offensive comments. Um, which I think is completely backwards. I think all of it is backwards. Um, it's disappointing to see that so many of the responses to a man who has made his living, apparently, by judging people on superficial and insignificant things are also a judgment on superficial and insignificant things. So how are you in any way better than him? I mean, just because he was rude does not give us an excuse to be rude in return. Um, instead of focusing on his appearance and bringing ourselves down to his level, can't we just focus on how inappropriate his comments are and how we, as a society, can find a way of making that whole viewpoint unacceptable? Um, I just finished watching a video of Ellen DeGeneres giving her opinion on what was said by the CEO. She said, uh, I wrote it down. She said... I've noticed the trend in women's clothing. It's getting ridiculous. There's a size zero. A size zero, which I don't understand. Zero is nothing. Then she asked the audience a knock-knock joke. The knock-knock joke was, knock-knock, who's there? No one. Then she said, now they have a double zero. What are we aspiring to? I appreciate her comments afterwards that beauty is not a number, but I don't see why she had to mock one size in order to get her point across about another. And that was also a little bit disappointing to see. The way I see it, if making a comment to somebody about their weight is rude and inappropriate, then it should be rude and inappropriate regardless of what side of the scale they're on. My basic point is that mocking one body type as a way of supporting another body type completely negates the entire point of body acceptance. People need to stop making rudeness be the... Uh, go to response to other rudeness because then in my opinion we end up just looking like a bunch of fools running in circles so that's my opinion I hope I didn't offend anyone um, okay that's it that's all I have to say bye bye I didn't stop it <laughs>